Now, as many long-term viewers to this channel, while probably needing a considerable amount of therapy, will realise how much I do like a nice garden, and my garden in particular for invertebrates and to attract invertebrates. However, not all invertebrates that can occur in urban gardens aren't that welcome. And for that, in many cases, we have to thank the UK's horticultural industry, which over the years has brought in some quite tremendous and exciting new colourful species to the UK's shores, but on the other hand has also brought in or allowed in some rather notorious species which we can't release and which you don't want in your garden because they are extremely detrimental to the UK's native species. What's in here is one such species. Well, we're at home today for this video, but what I'm going to show you in this video, I picked up at a local garden centre yesterday. It was a garden centre at Workshop. I'm not giving the exact garden centre, but the reason that this species is contained is because, as far as I'm aware, it is illegal to release these back into the wild once you've caught them. Saying that, the species is now so common, it's widespread across much of the UK, especially in the southwestern and northwestern parts of the UK. Here in the East Midlands, it's probably just under recorded, severely under recorded, because few people are actively searching or are interested in this family of invertebrates now what's in here belongs to the family geoplanidae which are flatworms and most of the flatworms that we have here in the uk and it's not good news but most of the flatworms we have here in the uk have been imported and the species in here is a beautiful species but it's an Australian species and most of the flatworms are predatory on UK earthworms. So where the two meet, the flatworm tends to come off best. I'll show you this if we can find it. may well be tucked in here there it is they look leech like and I suppose they are in every way but these are almost the true shapeshifters of the invertebrate world and this is a beautifully coloured species the head is the tiny end that's moving they're not all shapes like this and this one is approaching adult. This is the Australian flatworm known as Australoplana sanguinea. The sanguinea reference being to the colour I believe but don't shoot me if I'm wrong. It's now known from two Nottinghamshire sites but I personally think it's considerably under recorded. I've not recorded this here yet but this is one of many species that is in the UK primarily, and well, totally really, through the horticultural plant trade. It's one of a number of species, and this is probably the most widespread in Nottinghamshire. It really is quite a remarkable thing. Flatworms are, they can produce um, eggs, but most of them reproduce by a method called fishing. And fission means basically they split. They can split into two or however many sections they want to, really. And each section will then grow a new head. 
quite a remarkable process and method of reproduction. Perhaps a good job that humans don't do that. But this is, may well be common in the UK and in Nottinghamshire than we suspect. It has to be. It is widespread across the UK. And in Nottinghamshire, there are just two records. Although I'm sure many gardeners will have seen this. And I'd certainly welcome any records. So this is a flatworm. Very much understood it. In fact, I think I'm the only one that's studying them or on the lookout for them actively. Others have been recorded by Tim Sexton, who did some fabulous recording work in the Attenborough Nature Reserve area when he weren't there, but also in his own garden close to the reserve. Now, I'll just turn this one partly upside down, it'll soon sort itself out. It's paler underneath. I'm saying this is from between two to eight centimeters in length. They can shrink down to virtually nothing. It's, they're quite incredible things. When at rest, often appear leech like. Now it's not so leech like, but two sites for it in Nottinghamshire, say, a workshop garden centre and a back garden in Attenborough Village. But there are many records of this species. So that's Australia plana sanguinea, the Australian flatworm, potentially in your back garden. It's a shame that flatworms are such bad news for our native earthworms. But these are the times that we live in. This is one of many, many species that have been imported into the UK and are now doing really well. Yeah, the horticultural trade has a great good answer for. And try as we might to intercept species like this when they first get imported into the UK, you can't get them all. And species like flatworms are especially difficult to intercept. But they are remarkable things. So look out for this when you're pottering around in the garden, tending your pots and your tubs. And if you live in Nottinghamshire and you find one of these, let me know. We could do with some more records, although in a strange kind of way, it would be nice if we didn't have any more records. However, this is one of those species that's certainly very much under-recorded and is here to stay whether we like it or not. <laughs>